South Korea has reported a significant decline in the number of new cases of COVID-19. As usual, that's partly because fewer tests were done over the weekend, but the numbers continue to show a decline overall. The social distancing rules have been relaxed further from today, and if these trends hold, most other rules could be lifted soon. Choi Min Jung reports. South Korea reported 127,190 new COVID-19 cases on Monday. The figure fell by a whopping 100,000 cases from the previous day, partly due to fewer tests done over the weekend. However, the overall trend also shows a decline, with 60,000 fewer cases compared to last week. Currently, there are just over 1,100 severely ill patients, and there were 218 additional deaths. A senior health official said the figures will start to drop after reaching a peak sometime this week or next week. They had forecast a peak of 1,800 patients in critical condition, but the official said it is unlikely to reach that high at this point. Meanwhile, revised social distancing measures are now in effect for the next two weeks. Up to 10 people can socialize in groups, regardless of vaccination status, and businesses can remain open until midnight. Movies and shows at theaters and concert halls can start any time before midnight, but performances must end before 2 a.m. Meanwhile, restrictions for large events remain the same, with a cap of 299 people regardless of vaccination status. Events with over 300 spectators can be held if there is approval from relevant authorities. Health authorities have said they will consider lifting most restrictions, including outdoor mask mandates, if the country's virus situation remains stable for the next two weeks. While some say it's too early to stop wearing masks outdoors, other health experts say the time has come for people to be allowed outside without a mask, given the relatively low transmission rate outdoors. But authorities are saying that the lifting of social distancing rules, including outdoor mask mandates, should be reconsidered if the new COVID strain XE emerges in the country. Adjustments could be made once officials closely evaluate the risks associated with the new hybrid strain of Omicron and Stealth Omicron. Starting Monday, local clinics and hospitals can submit their applications to provide in-person treatment for COVID patients. Patients can now book appointments for such treatment and are allowed to visit clinics and hospitals even if they're under self-isolation. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.